As time and history progress, as does the belief that certain facts and occurrences are not as they seem, as more and more classified information surfaces, people have become far more accepting to the creation and adherence of conspiracy theories. While many of these theories' creators have been stereotyped as attention-seeking lunatics, a good deal of them have received historical and scientific confirmation for their beliefs. These are just a few of those beliefs, the top 10 conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Number 10 is Government Poisoned Alcohol During the days of Prohibition, illegal sales and consumption of alcoholic beverages were rampant. So much so, the government decided to crack down on these drunken criminals by encouraging manufacturers to poison their liquor. You heard that right, the government actually encouraged stills to poison booze in order to put an end to overconsumption. Talk about tough love. Number 9 is the Dalai Lama's US finance salary. According to declassified files, in order to shake up communist China's status quo in the 1960s, the US government funded the Tibetan resistance, including a six-figure bonus for the Dalai Lama's involvement. I kind of want to start a revolution now. As long as I support US values, I can make six figs just by playing a part. Guys, leave comments for a catchy revolution name. This is a goldmine idea. Number 8 is the Gulf of Tonkin incident's illegitimacy. For those who slept through US history, the Gulf of Tonkin incident was one of the leading catalysts of American involvement in the Vietnam War. The story told for decades was that US naval ships were attacked by North Vietnamese naval ships in the Gulf of Tonkin. In the following years, confirmed accounts indicate that this event never happened and thus delegitimized US involvement in the Vietnamese conflict. Usually I make a joke at the end of each listing, but I felt convicted to refrain from it in honor of those who served. To the veterans watching, I, along with millions in this country, am indescribably grateful for your service. Number 7 is a real Canadian gaydar. In the 1960s, the Canadian government financed a psychological project dedicated to the manufacturing of a real gaydar, which one could determine whether or not someone is a homosexual. I seriously think the concept of this device alone is comical enough to supply a laugh for this listing. Number 6 is the heart attack gun. In 1975, when Congress investigated the CIA, one of its deadliest secret weapons was uncovered, the heart attack gun. This thing is actually pretty self-explanatory. The gun would shoot small poison darts which were able to penetrate clothing and skin. The dart would then inject that poison into the bloodstream, inducing a heart attack. Victims compared the shot to that of a mosquito bite in terms of pain. The poison would also denature quickly so autopsies could not indicate foul play. This gun is actually terrifying, especially if it were used in Mississippi, where heart attacks are so common they're inconspicuous. Number 5 is MKUltra. If you've ever watched the incredible show Stranger Things, this next one probably sounds familiar. During the 1970s, the US government tested hallucinogenic illicit drugs on subjects, many of which were not completely aware of the experiment's processes. Subjects were permanently affected by these experiments, leaving many with long-term mental disabilities. Noting once again that this is a serious matter, I will refrain from cracking a joke and instead will plug Stranger Things because, man, what a great show. It's on Netflix, go check it out. Number 4 is Operation North Woods. In the peak of tensions during the Cold War, the CIA had a project under wraps called Operation North Woods, which basically implied US-funded terrorist attacks on the homeland to blame on Cuba and give reason for a full-scale conflict against them. It was set to be implemented until President John F. Kennedy, one of my personal favorite presidents, rejected the proposal and killed it immediately. While JFK might have saved the lives of hundreds, probably thousands, it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that such sudden, retaliative action might have led to federal involvement in his assassination. Pure, masculine beauty, along with choosing not to execute horrible, deadly operations, comes with a price. Number 3 is the Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment. Between the years of 1932 and 1972, the U.S. Public Health Service experimented on impoverished African Americans who had contracted the sexually transmitted disease syphilis. Health service officials never made these undeserving individuals aware that they were suffering from the disease and refused to treat them. Instead, they simply stated that the subjects had bad blood. Within those 40 years, nearly half of those subjects died as a result of untreated congenital syphilis. Not cool public health service, not cool. Number 2 is Bohemian Grove. While no evidence of an all-powerful world government exists, there are confirmed examples of world leaders meeting in cultic groups and areas, including that of Bohemian Grove, a getaway destination for world elites in California. 
While most of the activities set for this vacation spot include the usual drinking, socializing, and general misbehaving, there is evidence of the practice of rituals involving a giant wooden owl. Perhaps the owl Illuminati is at work here. Seriously? Owl Illuminati? I guess that's what we get for holding scriptwriters here against their will. Hey, get back in the cellar! And number one is NSA surveillance of your every move. Yes, in response to the 9-11 attacks, the government, in an attempt to prevent another horrific terrorist act, has taken steps to conduct widespread surveillance across the country. Whether it be on our device's microphones, our social media pages, or some other information-reliant source, the NSA is watching. Always. It may be unconstitutional and an invasion of privacy, but if there weren't some big brother monster to defeat, Senator Rand Paul would not have a job. So, let's keep it going.